SQL Server provides predefined maintenance tasks that can be used to perform database maintenance. These tasks are called database maintenance plans. Maintenance plan can be used to perform maintenance on a local server and a remote server instance. So let's take a look at an example of how you can set up a database maintenance in SQL Server. Once you are connected to your management studio, expand management and maintenance plan. One thing to note here is that if you are using SQL Server Management Studio 19, at the time of recording this video, you will not see the maintenance plan under management because, because there is a bug in the current release. So you may have to use SMS version 8, right click maintenance, select the maintenance wizard, select next. Here you need to provide a name for your maintenance plan. So I will be calling this daily backups. You can specify a description which is optional. In the maintenance plan, your maintenance plan will contain of multiple tasks. So you can use one schedule for the entire plan or you can create separate schedule for each task. So we are going to be going with a single schedule for the entire plan. So currently there is no schedule set so we can change the schedule, right? And then we can specify when we want this to be executed. So we want it to be daily and we want it to be executed at 12 a.m. each night. So select OK. So if you forgot to specify the schedule here, it will create a job under the SQL Server agent, which you can schedule later. Select Next. And these are the list of database maintenance that you can schedule. So here we're going to be doing only a full backup. Then you could create a separate maintenance plan to do the differential backup and a separate maintenance plan for the transaction log backups. And I'll also enable the maintenance cleanup task. Then select next. Select next to continue. So here you can choose the databases which you want to be backed up. So you can do all databases or specify them individually. Then select OK. Ignore the databases that are in an offline state so it doesn't fail your backup task. Then select OK. Here you have the option to specify backup to disk or to URL. So we are going to keep disk. And for the backup destination, you can specify the location where you want your backups to be stored. So we will be keeping the default backups location that we have pre-configured. You can also create a subdirectory for each backup. So each backup will be in a separate folder. So let's check this option. And for the backup extension, we are keeping the default. You can choose whether you want to compress your backups or not. You can specify when your backups will expire, verify the backup integrity, and you can also perform a checksum. However, these parameters are optional, but if you want, you can keep them. Then select next. For the cleanup task, we want to clean up backup files. So for the file location, you can delete a specific file or search a folder and delete a file based on the extension. So this is the option that we want because we want to delete backups that are older than 4 weeks. So I'm searching in my backups directory, then select OK. And for the extension, it will be BAK and include first level subdirectories. And for delete files older than the following, 4 weeks is fine, but it depends on your organization policies. So select next. Here you have the option to write the report to a file or email the report to the DBA which was the operator we created previously. Then select next. You'll get a summary of the wizard. Then select finish. Under the server agent, under the server agent, you'll see the daily backups job which was created. We can also initiate the job manually by right click and select start job at step. Now if we check our backup directory, we should be seeing a list of backups. So here we have the demo folder, demo db2, master model, msdb and adventure work. Let's check the folder for the master db. And here we have the backup which was completed. And similarly, you could set up your differential and transaction log backups. So instead of doing database backups manually, you can schedule them to have them automatically backed up for you.